Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Worship Gunner 2. Last time, I believe we... Did we... Fight a bunch of Amagi ships? What did we do last time? I actually forgot already. I was still recording in the same batch too, but I had to go downstairs and take care of the dog. Uh, so I already forgot what we did. Anyways, this time we are repelling Amagi's fleet. And we're still saving up funds to get to Battleship Tier 6. So let's just hop right into this. I'm going to try to get this episode and one more recorded before I have to stop. Hopefully I can do one more after this. Really crossing my fingers. I really like the setup of this mission. It's pretty cool, pretty epic. How it's like you're just charging straight into the fray of all these enemy ships all at the same time. There's the lead ship. Go, ridiculous fire rate. You can do it. Apparently my firing delay can't do it though. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Wish there was a uh gameplay mechanic where if a missile was chasing after a pod, it would machine guns wouldn't fire at that missile anymore because it's already going to be dealt with. So there should be a game mechanic that says that tells the machine guns basically to check to see if the missile is heading for a chaff pod and not your ship. Because if it is, then it doesn't need to uh, waste effort firing at that. That would allow the machine guns to be more focused on torpedoes and aircraft rather than missiles that you can deflect yourself with chaff uh, pods. That'd be pretty helpful. Battleships under command of Rear Among Kitachi. Enemy reinforcement spotted. Main objective updated. Enemy battleship sunk. Um, any funds crates or anything that I really want right here? Not really. Alright. Let's find the lead ship of that class. There it is. Or lead... Yeah, lead ship of that group, not the class. There we go. And lead ship of this group. Where is it? Oh, oh there it is. Let's get him. There we go. Just to make all these guys stop for me so that they don't have to uh, run quite so far away. There we go. Just keep firing. Never stop shooting. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Um, well, got enough uh, repair kits and ammo? Jeez. Alright. I do have a damaged deck, but I mean, I'm not trying to launch aircraft right now, so it's not a big deal. Now we're going to head off in this direction and try to find Amagi's ship. Wow, that's a lot of shells. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, Yamatos. Cool. Wait, oh, I hope that doesn't sink to uh, Hitachi. I actually want to get a good look at the ship. Oh, it almost sunk it. Got half health. I actually want to get a good look at the uh, Hitachi and see if it's just a, a version of the Yamato or if it's its own model. Let's see. 
Enemy battleships. Um, looks like a Nagato, actually. Interesting. I think they actually, you know, come to think of it, I think they said that in an earlier mission. Amagi's flagship is a Nagato. I think they said that in an earlier mission. Sunk. So, anyways, hello, Amagi, and bye, Amagi. Poor guy. Never stood a chance. Oh, wait, we didn't need to go back. There's nothing left for us here. Uh, treasure's on EL2, so. Now, let's leave the area. So Amagi's still alive. He got out on a lifeboat and was picked up by his own dudes. So that's good. A rank on the mission. And just 72,000 funds. But that'll be more than enough to get our Battleship Tier 6 going. Story stuff. Does your face still sting? Well, that's one way to ask, I suppose. There we go. All right. Ah, 570. Good old mission 570. This is one of the few that uh, I actually remember up at these higher level missions. Treasure's on EL2, so we don't need to worry about it. Ooh, it's foggy out. His text is unusually choppy for some reason. Of course the Americans have a super weapon. Leave it to the Americans to have one of those, other than the Empire. All bias aside, uh, America does seem to be very good at raising ships. I mean, look at all the ships we brought up after Pearl Harbor, you know? So, all, all biased and opinions aside, they, they do... You have to give them credit for that. I'm biased towards America, of course, because I live in America. And, you know, yeah. I'm not, like, hateful or anything towards any other nation. I just really like America. And I know we're not the best, either. I know that a lot of other nations have much better tech than us in certain areas. But I'm, I'm proud. You put it that way. I'm proud of American, American design and everything. Like, the little tiny bit of World of Warships I can play on our laptop at, you know, 17 frames per second and, like, 80 ping or more. Uh, the little bit I can play is, uh, it's, it's fun, and I'm pretty much just focusing down the American Battleship line. I'm at, like, Tier 4. I don't play it very often because it is very hard um, and painful to play at, you know, 14 frames a second on average. Uh, so, I don't play it much, but... The little bit I have played has been all, um, all in, uh, the American Battleship line. Well, not all, but mostly. And this mission is one that can prove to be very, very difficult. We have Auto Reload System Alpha, which is awesome. So, before we actually look at a new hole, this just came to mind because of the 
difficult nature of this mission, and that is anti-air missiles. Yeah. So basically, I'm actually going to fast research anti-air missiles. Um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I want this. And, um... Um... Let's see, 16, 16, they all have 16 rounds, don't they? Yes. The only difference is the damage. Um, reload times 200, 240. Whoops. Um, how much damage do you do? Eh, eh, that's probably good enough. Um, yeah. So, we're going to be swapping out all of our Azrocks for those, just for this mission, just so that we have them. And then we're also going to move those uh, missiles down to an auto-fire slot so that they can do some work, hopefully. Uh, other than that, I think we're just going to go ahead and get Battleship Tier 6. We won't be able to actually get a hull, but we can at least get Tier 6 started. Like I said. And yep, we can't afford a hull. We would have actually been able to start one if we didn't buy the anti-air missiles, but we're definitely going to want those for this mission. Uh, so, yeah. Um, can we... No, we're definitely not going to have enough to start the new auto-reload. Nope. Nope. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, gamma. So, I know that the last auto-reload system is gamma, and gamma comes after beta, so we're second to last there. So we're, we are very close to uh, being done with that. Anyways... Let's go swap out the missiles on our ship, and then do mission 570. So we'll go to the battleship here, change design, yes. And weapons, Azrock 3's replace with anti-air missile VLS-2. And then what we want to do is we want to switch slots like this and like this, and there we go. Now those have their own auto-fire slot. We only have 208 missiles, which is not very much, and we are too heavy right now. Let's drop off some signal flares. Those didn't really help at all. Uh, let's try to drop off some uh, missiles. I'm trying to decide which missiles I want to get rid of. This one and that one. We're still too heavy. Okay, well, um, hmm. What if we do that? There we go. Alright. So now how many missiles do are we down to? 176. Hmm, that's less than I would like. But... Okay, the only other thing I can think to do to alleviate the weight issue is this. Then we can... So we still have 43 centimeters of armor, which is pretty good. So we're gonna put that there. We can't. Nope. Okay. Um. Nope. Uh. This. And we're gonna move these guys back like this. Nope. Not there. There. Okay. And if we can, I actually want to try and put more on here. Now that weight is less of a problem. Uh, like so. And. Uh, nope. That's all we got there this, and let's come up here to the front. Those will clip through and look weird, so I don't want to put them there. Can we put any up here? Perhaps? Maybe? No? I guess not. Over here? Yes! Here we go. Boom. And... Aw. Alright, well, I'm gonna put that there. I'll put one up here. Now, what do we got? 336. That'll be pretty good. Um, the other issue with, uh, like missile launchers in this game is that um, the anti-air missiles it's not smart enough to know that it already fired a missile at a certain plane or helicopter uh, so it will still try to fire like all of the missiles at one plane even though that's way more than is actually necessary to kill that plane it'll still do that which is kind of annoying um, and you'll run out of ammo very quickly. So, since we're playing on easy difficulty, we should be able to find ammo really quick and easy. Um, but if you're playing on a higher difficulty where ammo is less common, keep that in mind. And if you do see ammo, make sure you actually scroll down to your missiles to resupply them and not something that you don't need ammo for, like your main guns or whatever. 
So, anyways, with that done and modified, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Worship Gunner 2, where we will be doing Mission 570. Another very, very tough, tough, tricky mission. Or at least it can be. So, I'll see you guys then.